The world of fiction has introduced us to many horrifying dystopias. 1984, Brave New World, Fahrenheit 451, all the likes. All of these books were used as examples to highlight totalitarian dictatorship, governmental censorship, the purging of knowledge and literature, and the enforcement of thought crimes. These books were intended as warnings for the future world so that they do not collapse into a horrendous society as illustrated. But there's a good reason why the phrase Orwellian is a thing right now. Actually, it's been a thing for years now. But it's a thing right now because people who have power decided to abuse those powers to oppress innocent people and preventing them from even the smallest of actions like thinking a different way. But then a contemporary example coming to the scene, taking everyone by surprise. The one and only anime that sold itself as a machine gun of dirty jokes, but it takes place in a dystopian future where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. The citizens are constantly monitored through their actions and words. They cannot say or even draw lewd things because doing so will trigger the alarm of the decency police. They'll come after you to raid all your adult content collections and making sure that you'll never ever going to nut again. Shimoneta is an anime that I haven't been talking about in a while, despite many events surrounding censorship bringing us closer and closer to this horrific dystopia. It's not the greatest anime ever, but it's the one that you should definitely watch, because it's not just an anime shooting dirty jokes at you every second, it's an anime that contains a warning. A warning of not just a dystopian world where any sorts of dirty thoughts, actions, or words are prohibited, but the consequences of raising an individual in a state where the lack of exposure to those indecent materials were turned the purest of souls into a psychopathic rapist stalker yandere who is unable to comprehend the concept of lust and their inability to channel said lust into a healthy environment. While this anime doesn't take the spot of the top 10 best anime ever, it is certainly one of the most prophetic ones. And today ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid to say that we are going to reach this horrific dystopia. Sure, some parts of the world have already reached a dystopia that is actually even worse than Shimoneta's, but today's threat is potentially more global. Today's threat is more horrific. And the worst part of all, it sneaks under a radar all this time. The beginning of this horrific story starts with a social media that people constantly use for a purpose who just recently decided that it would be a good idea to deviate from those purposes entirely, Tumblr. So if you guys missed it, Tumblr decided to ban all adult content entirely. This was probably thanks to the fact that they were banned in many app stores due to accusations of hosting child pornography, but I think we should just read their reasonings and why this thing happened. Starting December 17, adult content will not be allowed on Tumblr, regardless of how old you are. What Tumblr considers to be adult content consists of photos, videos, or GIFs that show real-life human genitals or female presenting nipples, which is mocked so endlessly that I don't need to comment any further, and any content that depicts sex acts. There are some content that are still permitted within reason, but there's a bit of a problem with this new system. It uses automated tools, which means that tons of content that are actually safe for work are still flagged by Tumblr anyway, and this causes people to migrate to other websites such as Twitter, probably Instagram, or Newgrounds. Yes, that's still a thing. So congratulations, Tumblr. You just drove pretty much everyone out of your website. And by the way, this isn't just a matter of jacking off to your favorite waifus or your filthy 3Ds. This is also a matter of people who wants to openly talk about their sex life or their sexuality. The current version of Tumblr doesn't allow people to openly express their sexuality. Some of the things that Tumblr downright flag are people who just wants to express that they're a certain sexuality. There's nothing really wrong with all of those things, but Tumblr's bot clearly thinks so. This is a huge issue for people who wants to build a more sex positive community, one that Tumblr used to be able to provide, but thanks to this ridiculous censorship, the impact hits not just people who wants to express their sexuality, but also those who just wants to jack off to adult content. But that's not the end of the entire issue though. Tumblr banning adult content from their website is just the beginning. I've recently talked about the censorship of 18 plus visual novels on Steam for really ridiculous reasons. I've also talked about the censorship from Sony towards fan service and anime video games that are being done in the laziest, stupidest, and even game-breaking possible ways. When idiots decide to go after these sorts of adult content, I cannot help but to react in disgust. Porn is one of the most inclusive entertainment media in the entire world. Anyone of any race, gender, or ethnicity can understand porn and enjoy porn because it speaks to the language of the human nature and the eternally sinful concept of lust. 
It is something that unites humanity in the darkest of times, one that would create world peace when everything is seemingly hopeless, one that would give a spark of light in this constantly dark world, the actual winner of the Nobel Peace Prize that didn't get the award because people are too afraid to say the truth. An attack on porn is an attack on world peace. An attack on porn is an attack towards people's sense of unity, respect, and understanding. When you decide to go after something that people are unanimously supporting, you are putting yourself into a hill that you really do not want to die on. Tumblr used to be a place for sex positive communities and people who just want to satisfy their sexual urges, but now that it decides that it doesn't want to, surely you can just leave this garbage website and go to other websites that provide similar content, right? And this is where the dystopia come in. Are you guys familiar with FASTA? No? Well, too bad. This nightmare is upon us and you have to know about it. This bill is coming after your most precious internet artifacts. And it's not a good come. Now to put all the complicating details in a nutshell, what this bill was intended to do is to curb all sorts of sex trafficking acts around the internet. Now that sounds pretty noble, right? That is until you realize that this bill treats pretty much almost everyone in the guilty party. The first part, as illustrated by the Stop Sesta Fasta website here, is that it will expand the federal criminal sex trafficking law to target online platforms where sex trafficking content appears. In other words, if you host a social media website or an online forum and sex trafficking happens without your knowledge, you can be prosecuted, even if you didn't do anything other than providing the platforms. You are guilty for providing the platforms for the criminals to speak. And this is the reason why a lot of social media in recent times ban people to talk or share anything sexual related. Oh, don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen. It gets worse. This bill is from the beginning of this year and it's sneaking under our radars. I should have known about this bill. I would have known about this bill if this would have trended sexual content on the internet as a whole. I would have known this if I was 20 years old before February. So screw you 19 year old me. This bill holds the social media platforms liable for the actions that criminals do in their platform. Why should that be the case? Should Samsung be held liable because they provided phones for certain criminals? Should Logitech be held liable because they provided keyboards for hackers? And thanks to the fact that social media are going to be held liable towards this bill, they're starting to censor any sorts of discussions on sex, even though a lot of discussions on sex on the internet can bring a positive impact. People want to express themselves sexually, opening up and explore their sexuality. People want to draw adult content and express their sexual desires in a healthy and peaceful medium. This bill basically says that a social media platform is responsible for the actions of criminals and sex traffickers that use those platforms to solicit sexual acts, which again is downright ridiculous. So Tumblr is banning all sorts of adult content. Patreon banned StudioFow a month ago, which is one of the most prominent SFM porn artists out there on the internet. This bill makes it possible for the law to go after any sorts of social media websites that provides discussions or materials that are related to sex, which includes Pornhub and any other porn websites based on the US which is quite a lot. As long as they provide sexual content, they are pretty much under threat of this bill because these websites can potentially be used for sex trafficking. Now, websites based outside of the US are safe for now, but considering that there are a lot of websites out there that are US based, this bill is going to affect pretty much a lot of websites that let people to talk about adult content. The third point being discussed here is the expansion of federal criminal prostitution law to cover those who use the internet to promote or facilitate prostitution. Do you want to know how broad that definition is? That covers any website that allows you to chat with another user. As long as you have the ability to communicate by text, audio, or video, you can potentially facilitate prostitution. This law would make social media platforms to be a lot more restrictive on their adult content. It's not just adult content for the fapping, it's also adult discussions related to sex and sexuality. And thus we see Tumblr straight up banning anything sexual. They are worried that they can be prosecuted by this bill for providing a social media platform that can potentially be used 
for sex trafficking. And that's not even the worst part. Oh boy, that's not even the worst part. An online platform could be prosecuted under state law or held liable for sex trafficking for failing to comply with the law before it passed. So even if you restricted all sorts of sexual content or discussions on your website, after this law pass, if you had those discussions before this law pass, you have the chance to be prosecuted. Absolutely ridiculous. This is insane. This law wants to stop sex trafficking, but in reality, it makes social media to be even more restrictive on their sexual discussions because any sexual discussions can be seen as a sex trafficking act. Wouldn't letting people having discussions about sexual acts expose these sex trafficking acts much easier? If you silence everybody, you will never know who's the real criminal in the room, won't you? At this moment, any sorts of sexual content can be seen as a sex trafficking act. I don't even know who gets to decide what is and isn't a sex trafficking act, but these social media platforms wants to play it safe. They don't want to be prosecuted by this really stupid law, so they censor all sorts of discussions. One thing that you need to be aware of that you all absolutely need to learn is something called section 230 which states that no provider or user of an interactive computer service shall be treated as the publisher or speaker of any information provided by another information content provider in other words the things that you do in social media are not representative of the social media or the isps you are the user of the service and the service provider cannot be held responsible for the actions of the user this bill completely negates that. This bill just straight up ignored that. So this bill was up at earlier this year. Why are we talking about this now? Because they're coming in full force just recently. We don't know how many US-based social media or porn websites are going to be affected, but I can tell you for sure that this bill would cause any non-US porn websites or social media to be more popular. That is, if they are not affected by this law. If they are affected by this law, sorry to say this ladies and gentlemen, but we are reaching the Shimoneda dystopia. We are reaching a point where we're not allowed to express ourselves sexually. And while the decency police won't come after you, these big social media websites are going to play the role of the decency police because they don't want their websites to host these sorts of content. It happened to Tumblr. It's starting to happen on Patreon. Lord knows what's going to happen next. You can try to fight this bill by using the website and call your representatives if you are in the US. But like Article 13, the best thing that I can do is is to tell you guys what's going on and see how much this thing destroys. All I can say is... Well said. And it's gonna be a matter of time before we resort into desperate measures. <laughs> Before we close off this video, considering the recent dumb moves that Patreon has done, I have opened a new subscribe star page, an alternative to Patreon that essentially lets you do the same thing. So if you don't like Patreon's new policies, you can also support me on Subscribe Star, link down below.